Oh my, what happened? Not even December yet, people. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Why is it already Christmas? Maybe Adam needs a warmer shirt. Oh, Lord. Is she gonna get into drugs? So apparently we gotta go help Penny before she, like, commits suicide or something. This is getting dark. So I guess that's where Gryffindor house is. You can tell which ones are actually beautifully painted and which ones are... not. Nah. Sucks. I mean, it is a pretty damn dangerous place for children and everyone in general, but especially children. I thought they were establishing that these curse vaults were doing something without Autumn having even messed with them yet. And her messing with him actually stopped it. Because I'm the main character, shut up! Were you trapped in there with the curse too? By now, she's probably just used to it. Well, welcome to my world! How do you think I've been dealing it the past however many years my brother's been missing? Why? I'm gonna burn it down. But technically they weren't responsible. Yeah, but I still wouldn't do it. Okay! Screw you, Torvus! When the time is right. That sounds ominous. Remember when it was apparently really hard for us to figure out how to sneak in here? Now we just wander in on whenever we feel like it. Do they just fall off unicorns? The way antlers fall off? Drugs? We're cooking up drugs, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, really? We're gonna steal from Professor McGonagall now? Something to do with Nuffles? Just ask whatever kind of hellhole Dr. McGon or Professor McGonagall hides her porcupines in when she isn't using them to as living test subjects for children who can't do proper spells. He's like, how dare you? Come on, sister. I could find him if I wanted to. Well, do you want to? No, but that's not the point. <laughs> None of which were the things she was looking for, but that's beside the point as well. Mm, more like the pins within the cushion. Wait, so these poor creatures are just stuck as pin cushions? PETA must not exist in the wizarding world. Not from Peter, that's for sure. I don't think Sickleworth is even trying. Old lady slippers, Professor McGonagall? Thanks for the help, Sickleworth. Unless Autumn's just taking the- <laughs> maybe she's taking the credit. Oh, I guess he's trying to take the credit. Oh my gosh, are there sound effects for him now? Unless it was always a pin cushion, or are all our pin cushions actually transfigured porcupines? I can try, just make sure I don't accidentally cast a pulso instead. <laughs> sound effects for him now. Keep glory hog. So, you sure the porcupine's not just gonna shoot his quills at us? Okay. Why do we only ever see him in detention? No one needs their turkeys? <laughs> what is this child doing? Hmm, yes, I must take notes on these assholes. Are all these kids in detention? Dang.
No. Just because it's really long and thick. This is going to the temples upstairs, dummy. <laughs> Wait, they don't know anybody here? Good question. <laughs> Wait, do I even know this person? So you're the one in the corridor that I always wake up for extra energy. Please take as many kips as you like. I need the energy. <laughs> what? I honestly have no idea. Penny could be making a suicide potion for all I know. She's good for business. Like, illegal work? Yep, you betcha. Mm, okay. Hey, jeez, yes, ma'am. Oh, it's a snowman. Yeah, imagine real werewolves attacking Hogwarts. Oof, wouldn't that be crazy? Like the the what? A lot of flowers. <laughs> it's been like three years since, um, okay, maybe, maybe just two years since Tonk started doing that. So you really took you quite a while to actually. Hey, can I ask what you're making? Because we're friends. No, it's only because I'm into you. Oh, okay. If I didn't fancy you, I'd had I wouldn't care about you at all. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks. <gasps> oh, gee. Okay. <laughs> Hope no one notices us doing. Oh, looks, uh, Professor Sprout looks a little bit suspicious. Yeah, look at her. She's like, hmm, what you doing over there? Is this plant dangerous? Wait, what? Cardiac arrest? What? Is this. What? I need to look this ingredient up now. Like, what kind of medicines is this used in? Or poisons, I guess. Yeah, there. she's teaching us a lot of poisonous stuff. Oh, that kind of disturbs me. Where's your water and cannot? Oh, there it is. Okay. Why would those be here? Yes! Please scream it out for the entire class to hear. That was it? Oh, that went smoothly. Okay. Oh, draught of peace. She's just trying to calm herself down. Okay. She just needed some Prozac.
So is this actually the room of requirement? I'm pretty sure you could just get a prescription. Yeah. Yeah, so why not ask her? Is that what you're actually planning? So it's like baking. Are drugs the best way to be dealing with anxiety? You did, and I'm just kind of sat there on the chair reading. Uh, Autumn, it's magical drugs. What could go wrong? Um, hmm. I guess friendship? I mean, you probably shouldn't just start um, prescribing yourself drugs without consulting a doctor first. So go to Madame Pomfrey, and then when she gives it to you, then you can take it. It's funny, because she said it was perfectly brewed, and then... Wait, what? When did that happen? Yeah, you bet I have! I do greatly respect Autumn for not throwing that in Penny's face, though. to be talking to Badia Ali again, or I guess not. Ah. The bloody bear. No, Autumn. Oh, we won't know. The latest episode of Wizards Probably Abusing Animals with Magic. feather duster or a ferret and are you like saying that teenagers don't clean up it's pretty insulting true but insulting I mean, if it's intended, you have to have the desire for it, right? I know I should just check the internet. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me! <laughs> she's still glaring! Man, she was very upset.
So do they um, let her skip these classes? In which case she probably doesn't go to any class at all. Really internalize it. Stare at that'll make it feel better. What? I am looking at my own ferret. All right, college is a mess. Hmm? Totally. Yay. Yay. Wait, what? Huh? What is that? I don't know if the transfiguration worked. This poor kid never gets his question answered. This is new. but no one else. Probably not at all. Yay! I thought I remembered that from the sixth book, right? Okay, so Giants had some wars.
Um, dance. Yay! A fake lecture. Oh, so she can make herself look like a ghost? Like even see through? Can she go through things? Wow, that's the first time I've ever actually seen her use her power. And don't try to tell me that, you know, dyeing her hair was the use of it, because you can dye your hair nowadays, so it doesn't count. Whoa! My goodness. Wow. So does he just not notice this? You'd probably die. So if I get it wrong, does Tonks get angry? Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. Does he just not notice? Or does he, he just not care? Wow. Liz. Wow. Is that a pun? Where is he? Oh, ah! So they aren't even trying anymore. I'm so sorry, child. Whoa. So it's a memory game, but if you aren't fast enough or you aren't right, it explodes in your face? What is that? Hmm? 
Um, I guess that's good that they're sad. Do ghosts need to sleep? You don't have time to be rewriting sentences. Everything matters. It's all for your schooling, Penny. Is he able to collect it? He's a ghost. Wouldn't he have to be a poltergeist to be able to pick up your essays? Does he have a student or another kind of helper who like holds the essays for him so that he can read them and then writes down the grades on it for him? Or is he a poltergeist? Guess what? Now he's just aggressive. What is what does he look like? What does he remind me of? Something that I've seen from something. <laughs> it's like, hey, what you looking at? Didn't think so. Oh, she's standing awfully close now. <laughs> don't worry, I don't want your raw steak. He's also aggressive. <laughs> See? He's not throwing the snow at me anymore. He's just kind of pretending. Oh, but he's still st stomping his food. Okay. Chris, you got foot yuck all over it. 